So I'm gonna be making vegetable beef soup. I'm cooking the hamburger first and now I'm gonna add the different spices. So I'm gonna be adding one teaspoon of red pepper flakes and a teaspoon of ground white pepper and a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Add the salt and pepper too. I want to make sure that the um, the ground beef, you know, it has a lot of flavor. All right, there we go. And now I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of minced onion and a tablespoon of onion powder and two tablespoons of garlic. So here's my onion powder. Ugh, I can't get it. There we go. And I am gonna be putting onion in the soup itself. It's gonna saute with some vegetables. But I wanna make sure I'm getting the flavor in that. And now my favorite garlic. I use garlic all the time. There's one, two, all right. Now I'm gonna use my wonderful Pampered Chef chopper. I'm gonna get that chopped up. I'm gonna brown that, and then I'm going to start cutting my vegetables. Um, the vegetables I'm gonna be putting in, hold on just a second, let me get this all ground up. We're gonna cook that. So the vegetables that I'm gonna be doing is I have a red pepper, a green pepper, I have two onions, celery, I have my canned zucchini, my canned yellow squash, my canned beans, my canned tomatoes, uh, my canned carrots. I have fresh spinach, mushrooms, and I have fresh parsley, thyme, oregano. So all that's gonna go into the broth. I have beef broth and potatoes. So we're gonna get the hamburger going first and I'm gonna set this aside and then we're gonna start the vegetables. So I'm gonna get all that chopped up and then we'll add that to the pot. All right, so I'm gonna get this cooking. It should take about 15, 20 minutes. And we're getting lots of snow. I think we're gonna get uh, like 10 inches to a foot of snow. Um, I like it though, it's Christmas. I like the snow in the Christmas time. I don't like it once it becomes like February, but I do like it when it's Christmas. Let me get this burner turned up. And uh, I'm gonna make a big pot of it using my beautiful, I love this thing. Um, all my family's on diets. And so I'm like, how am I supposed to cook when my family's all trying to eat good? So I thought vegetable beef soup, it has no um, pastas, no rice. I thought this would be perfect. Um, my son Gideon's at wrestling, Izzy's doing homework. Uh, Noah and David went and did some Christmas shopping. I'm working on it, honey. Have a little snack or something. Um, I have some of those Pringles. I don't have a salad, the, the, the lettuce with Jackie. Um, Noah's wrapping presents. Haley's talking to a friend. Robert, I think, is doing his project. Brandon's working. My husband's, huh? Oh, Robert's in town. So, all right, so I'm gonna get this hamburger going and then I'll come back on and we'll start getting the vegetables together. Okay, so I got the meat done. I cooked it till it was almost done. Um, I did two pounds of hamburger and a half a pound of pork. Now I have my butter melted. I'm gonna saute vegetables. Okay, so I have two onions, one stalk of celery. I'll have to show you guys the snow. One green pepper, and one red pepper. And then I did about, I don't know, maybe 10 potatoes and I cut up, cut them up kind of small. And then um, about maybe eight mushrooms. And I chunked them kind of big because when you cook mushrooms, they cook fast and I didn't want them to shrink really fast. And then I'm gonna add more garlic, two tablespoons of garlic. Right. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper also just because. Right. 
maybe about a teaspoon. That's a little bit more than a teaspoon. All right, so I'm gonna saute this until all the vegetables are soft. Um, especially the potatoes and the celery take a little longer. So I'm gonna saute this and I'm gonna um, put a lid on it. Hold on a second. Looks good already. Just make sure all those things are broke up. What you hear above me is my son Noah is wrapping presents <laughs> and our bedroom is above it so you can hear like a doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna saute it until the vegetables are soft and then we're gonna add all my canned vegetables, spinach, the beef broth, and then I do have um, some fresh poultry blend. It has rosemary, thyme in it, um, and I think it has basil, so we're gonna put some, some twigs of that in there and then we're gonna remove them when, before we eat. All right, so we're gonna let this saute probably about 20 minutes. Um, and the snow is still coming down, but it's so beautiful. Um, yeah, really nice. I got the hot tub all cleaned up so we can go in the hot tub if we want to tonight. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so okay, so we'll get this going. And, um, and I did tell you that it's two pounds of beef, one pound of sausage. So, okay, well, we'll get this cooking and then we'll come back on. So I'm gonna put the lid on top of this and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. All right, here we go. All right, this is cooking really nice. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. All right, gonna cook it a little bit longer. Okay, so I sauteed it and it looks really good. They're not 100% done, but it's gonna saute it. It's not gonna saute. It's going to simmer for about an hour just to get all those flavors. So we're gonna start adding everything. The first thing I'm gonna add is all my canned vegetables. Let me just get these open over here. So I'm adding green beans, carrots, tomatoes, zucchini, and yellow squash that I canned, and I'm not gonna drain the juice. Some of my green beans are a little big, so I'm gonna cut them up a little bit here. Okay, now I got zucchini. And you can put whatever vegetables you want, whatever you have on hand, just throw in here. My tomatoes. Yellow squash. All I did was shred this with a, sh oh, a shredder. And, uh, Put it in the can, there we go. Boy, I'm having a heck of a time here, come on. There we go. And now my carrots. I got two jars of carrots. And if you're gonna do fresh carrots, I would saute them with the, um, the potatoes and all that stuff I, I did earlier. Any vegetable that takes a longer time to cook, you're gonna wanna saute that. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up. It looks really good, you guys. I mean, it's just veggies, you know, just veggies. And then I get extra flavor, oh, you see that? I get extra flavor from the vegetables that were in the juices. Let me get all that out of the way. Just gonna stir that up. Now I have in here um, parsley, rosemary, thyme, basil, and I think that's it. Um, so I got them all fresh, I'm gonna add those. Right. And then I'm gonna finish off my spinach. So I have two cups of spinach. Right. I've been trying to clean my fridge out, so I've been trying to use up everything that's in my fridge. All right, and the, and the spinach will wilt. It won't be this big. But once I add everything together, then I'm gonna simmer it for about an hour, because right now it's only 4.30 our time. Well, it's only 4.30. All right, and then you can add salt and pepper, more spices if you want. Now I'm gonna add the hamburger and the sausage. And I'm not gonna drain it. I'm gonna take the juice too. 
I don't have a lot because we butcher our, we have our own animals butcher. We don't butcher our own animals, but we raise our own animals. So I'm gonna mix that in. Wow, this is a lot of soup. But it's, it's so cold outside, you guys. Snowy, this is perfect. Look at how beautiful that is. I can't even take it. All right, and now I'm gonna add my beef stock to this. I might only need to add two, depending on how much stuff you put into yours, you might only need to add one or two. I think I'm just gonna need to add one though. Okay, let's add this. Just to give it a little more flavor. You can add chicken broth if you want, or you can add bone broth, whatever. I'm not gonna be adding any noodles to this because like I said, my family's trying to eat right, so we're not gonna add any noodles to this. All veggies and meat and fresh herbs. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. It's pretty filling too, like there's not a lot of juice in here. I don't know, I might wanna add another one to this because as I cook it, the potatoes are gonna draw the, the liquid. All right, there we go. That's a beautiful pot of soup right there, you guys. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna stir that up. Okay, I'll be back in just a second. So I put the broth in, it looks really good. I tried it to see if I needed to add any more and I don't, it's so yummy. So now I'm just gonna put the lid on this and I'm gonna simmer it for about an hour to 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the potatoes, how long it takes the potatoes to cook through. And then I'll show you the final product. Okay guys, we're supposed to get 10 inches today. There's my cookies, we're gonna be making those tomorrow. It's snowing nice. This is a perfect day to have vegetable beef soup. Oh yeah. Nice, hey? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere you go. There's our hockey rink we've been working on. Should be able to skate on that this weekend. We'll know as soon as it gets dark here. Things are getting checked off my list. Super yummy. All right, Josh, how did the soup turn out? Did it turn out good? My bit too hot. Oh, it's a little bit temperature too hot? But is the flavor good? Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys heard it from the expert. Good soup, but it'll make you warm for going outside, right? Mm, you know, hot chocolate too. Oh, and hot chocolate too, yeah. All right, so here's the soup. Turned out great. Super yummy, lots of flavor. Oh, there's mushrooms in it too. Yeah, there's mushrooms in it too. Super good.